It begins with a single object and a sharp piece of steel. This isn't just shaping a baseball bat, it's carving a future home run. A patient, beautiful process of subtraction to create a tool of pure potential. A bar of steel glowing with captured sunlight is forced to surrender its shape. This isn't a negotiation, it's a statement. Heat makes it weak. Behold, the suburban dream. A little robot servant tirelessly munching on your lawn so you don't have to. It's the Roomba of the great outdoors. Quiet, efficient, and a little bit soulless. The humble, essential art of patching a tire. The final detail, filling the grid that holds the floor together. It's a messy, satisfying act of completion, like icing a very large, very flat, and completely inedible cake. The hypnotic spin of the lathe, shaving off a perfect spiral of metal. It's a beautiful, dangerous ribbon of steel, the byproduct of creating a perfect cylinder. Welding isn't just joining metal, it's painting with lightning. Here the artist uses a torch to create, a machine that understands the simple, glorious geometry of pasta. This is an ancient conversation with stone. No dynamite, just simple wedges and a deep knowledge of the fault lines. The relentless, precise rhythm of the factory. Each dollop of food is perfectly measured, perfectly placed, cleaning the guts of the machine. A necessary, greasy ritual to remove the old grit and grime, ensuring the gears can continue their tireless dance. A machine that exists solely to produce thousands of tiny, perfect plastic brackets. The small, anonymous heroes that hold our flat pack furniture together. the delicate, nerve-wracking process of deconstruction. Removing a giant pane of glass requires a steady hand and a silent prayer that you don't end up with a thousand sharp, expensive problems. This isn't just tiling, it's masonry as art. Each piece is placed with intention, creating a mosaic of texture and shadow a wall that refuses to be boring. The Great Separator, a churning, shaking beast that sifts the useful from the useless. It's a mechanical gold rush, sorting through the chaos of the construction site. The journey from grain to food, the machine sucks in the raw harvest, and through a violent, noisy process, strips away the inedible husk. This is the sound of your rice being born, a glorious, dusty racket. Assembling a strange new species of conveyor belt. It's a beautiful puzzle of gears and rollers, a custom-built river designed to carry some unknown product to its destiny. The simple, timeless rhythm of planting. A tool that opens the earth, drops a seed, and closes it back up again. A simple act of faith in the soil and the sun. The wood lathe. The craftsman isn't creating a shape, he's revealing the one that was always hidden inside the block of wood. A spinning, beautiful act of discovery. Genius. Pure, simple, workshop genius. When you don't have the right tool, you make one. A homemade solution that's probably better than the expensive one you left at home. Respect. Here is where technology gets intimate. A diamond-tipped needle guided by a computer carving a message of forever onto a tiny circle of gold. 
It's a strangely beautiful marriage of cold precision and human emotion. A robot ghostwriter for the vows you haven't even made yet. A giant concrete saw, slicing through a wall like it's made of soft cheese. A deafening, dusty act of architectural surgery, creating a door where there was none before. For when your lawn is frozen, but still needs a trim. A slightly absurd, but strangely effective tool for a problem most of the world doesn't have. A mechanical lumberjack, with the grip of a giant and the precision of a surgeon. It grabs, it cuts, it trims. A one-stop shop for tree maintenance. This isn't a lathe, it's a monster. The humble essential work of clearing a ditch. An excavator, doing the dirty work that keeps the water flowing and the roads from flooding. The careful, gentle start of a thousand new lives. Each seed placed in its own little pocket of soil, a neat and orderly nursery for a future harvest. Healing the wounds in a floor, filling the cracks, smoothing the surface. A small act of restoration that makes something old and broken feel new again. A toolbox that unfolds like a work of art. It's a masterpiece of organization, a portable temple of tools where everything has its place. It's beautiful. The hard, smelly, and deeply honest work of cleaning a barn. It's not glamorous, but it's a fundamental part of the pact we have with the animals we raise. A machine that strips the plastic jacket off a wire with a single, perfect motion. A simple, satisfying act of preparation for a future electrical connection. Now this, this is something special. You won't find this in any operator's manual. This is pure, unscripted cooperation between two 50-ton monsters. It's a silent, hydraulic conversation. One machine saying to the other, I got you, pal. It's the kind of gritty, on-the-fly ballet that keeps the world working. Absolutely beautiful. The blacksmith's art. Heat, hammer, and anvil. Bashing a glowing piece of metal into submission. The satisfying scrape, removing the burnt-on sins from the bottom of a pan. An act of culinary redemption that prepares the pan for its next glorious meal. The simple, strong logic of a wood joint. Dowels, glue, and pressure. The street artist, painting not with a brush, but with a can of aerosol. It's a fast, vibrant, and surprisingly precise art form, a masterpiece born from a cloud of spray paint. The ancient, rhythmic work of grinding grain into flour. The slow, patient process of turning a hard seed into a soft powder. The very foundation of bread. A steam iron for a mattress, reshaping and sanitizing with the power of hot vapor, a strange but effective form of industrial housekeeping. Shaving away thin layers of clay, a delicate subtractive process, the roadside surgery of patching a tire, finding the wound, pulling the nail, and plugging the hole, a small act of heroism for a stranded motorist. A machine that applies plaster to a wall. It saves time, it saves backs, but you have to wonder if it has the same soul as a hand-troweled finish. The tricky, geometric problem of a non-square cut. 
It requires careful measurement and a steady hand. This is where the real skill of a tiler shows. Installing molding, the final piece of the puzzle, the decorative trim that hides the ugly seam between the wall and the ceiling. It's what makes the room feel finished. Scribing a tile to fit a crooked wall, a beautiful little trick of the trade, ensuring a perfect fit even when the world isn't perfect. You have to love this. No funnel, no problem. A cleverly used wrench to guide the oil. Creating a brick effect with plaster and tape. It's a beautiful lie. Look at that swing. A perfect, powerful, and precise strike, driving a stake into the ground with absolute confidence. That's a man who knows his way around a sledgehammer. The long, flat blade of the trowel, smoothing a wall into a perfect plane. It's a skill that looks simple, but takes a lifetime to master. Applying a stain to wood, bringing out the hidden depths of the grain. It's not just coloring it, it's giving it character. Painting an illusion, using a sponge and a bit of skill to make a flat wall look like textured stone. It's the art of the faux finish. A planter, born from a cheap plastic basket and some fabric. It's a clever, low-budget act of gardening genius, a recycled home for a happy plant. The simple, elegant physics of a marble, testing the slope of a shower floor to make sure the water knows exactly where to go. A sewing machine that punches through shoe soles like they're paper, a high-speed, high-strength solution for stitching the toughest materials. The hydraulic press, a machine whose only purpose is to make things smaller. It does this with a slow, silent, and terrifying amount of force. The end of the line for a piece of scrap metal. You spend your whole life cutting cherry tomatoes one by one like a savage. Then you see this, a moment of pure, why didn't I think of that genius? It's a kitchen hack so perfect, it's almost insulting. The quiet, precise, and delicious science of baking. Each ingredient measured, each step followed, a culinary alchemy that turns powder and liquid into something wonderful. A lawnmower that looks like it was designed by a mad scientist. A strange multi-bladed beast that attacks the grass from all angles. More decorative painting, creating texture with a trowel and some thick paint, a wall that you're encouraged to touch.
spraying a layer of insulation, a thick foamy blanket that will protect the house from the heat and the cold. The disgusting but necessary job of cleaning a filter, blasting out the accumulated gunk to let the air or water flow freely again. A delicate touch with a sharp blade, shaving off a tiny imperfection in the paint job of a car. A small correction that makes a world of difference. The final professional touch on a wire, crimping a connector onto the end to ensure a safe, solid, and reliable flow of electricity. The deep clean, getting into every crack and crevice of a car's interior, From the simple elegance of a hand-carved bat to the bizarre genius of a homemade funnel, it's all the same story. The relentless, unstoppable, and deeply human need to make things, to fix things,